it's often been said over the years that people who are hurting other people are hurting other people because they're really hurting themselves. You know the phrase, hurt people hurt people. And it's really true. It doesn't mean that I'm asking you to have outrageous compassion for the person who's hurting you right now, if there is someone in that position or if there was someone in the past that did it. But I think compassion isn't a bad place to start. When you see people doing really bizarre behavior, I mean, things that just don't make sense, you know that they're really hurting. A number of years ago, I worked with a couple and it was really quite terrible. Uh, the woman was constantly badgering uh, her husband, wouldn't let him live his own life, um, just constantly around, constantly nagging, constantly telling him that he's having sex with all these people. I mean, there wasn't a thing, constantly telling him that his staff was a waste of time and money and that he didn't know what he was doing. I mean, it was unbelievable, you know? And as they stayed together, which was really unfortunate for both of their parts, because the longer they stayed together, the more each of them were hurting. But when I saw what was going on and he was sharing with me, she came in one time and said, absolutely, he doesn't have a clue of what he's doing. He's stupid with his money. He hires people and pays them. He doesn't make money off the people. She just went off. Like this guy had been in business for a very long time and here she was. Now all of a sudden she was the expert, she was the queen. Um, whenever he was stressed and he needed time alone, she wouldn't give him time alone. I mean, it just went on and on and on. And as he came in and talked to me, I said, what's her childhood like? And we got into her childhood. And then we found out why she was treating him the way that she was being, that she was treating him. Uh, she had zero respect for men. And that was obvious with the way she talked about him and previous boyfriends. She had no respect for men whatsoever. She was raised in a very strict household. So she had no respect for authority figures whatsoever. And while she came on really strong, as we all do in the beginning of a dating relationship, that she was there to support him and would take a knife for him and all these other phrases that she would say, is that she ended up holding him back big time. She ended up for a period of time really being something incredibly negative in his life. And I remember talking to her that one time and saying, you know, why do you want to stay with a guy that you're constantly putting down? Why do you want to stay with a guy that you never do a thing that he asks you to do? You don't work, you don't do anything. Why do you want to stay with someone who's unhappy with you and you're unhappy with him? Why do you want to stay in a relationship with a guy that you constantly put down? And as all these questions were coming up, she had no answer. All she would say is he deserves it. So you have to understand that her childhood was so hellacious. She carried all of the pain without ever getting help into her adult life. When I asked her about her personal relationships, she had never had long personal relationships that were healthy. She had dated addicts and people that killed themselves. I mean, it was just an absolute nightmare of a background, but I understood. And I was able to get her husband to understand hurt people will hurt people over and over again. They will look for opportunities to hurt you. They feel jaded in life. Now they don't know this because it's going on in the subconscious, but you just look at their actions in the physical world. You know, when someone is treating you like that and someone is saying you're always having an affair when you never had, and they're telling you that you don't know how to hire people. I mean, they're ripping you apart constantly. That's because they're hurting and they need serious psychological help. There's many people that I've worked with like that that have serious mental illnesses, uh, untreated bipolar disorder, untreated uh, borderline personality disorder, untreated. Reach out for help. Ask someone to help you. Get involved with a counselor, a therapist. You've got to clear up your childhood stuff. Without clearing up your childhood stuff, you carry all that anger at men or anger at women or anger at authority figures. You carry it all forward and no one wins. And you know, the person that thinks they win, in this case, this woman thought she was winning because she was controlling her husband, but she wasn't winning. She actually ended the relationship with her actions. And it wasn't necessary. If she would have just done the work to forgive herself, to forgive her choices in the past, maybe the marriage could have worked. If you need help, if you're on either side of the fence, you're the one being jumped on, or you're the one that's doing the jumping, reach out to me at talkdavid.com. We've been doing this for 43 years. We have great tips to help save relationships and marriages that are in a lot of trouble. Everything's at talkdavid.com. And there's four free books there that you can get to help motivate you as well. 
I'm David Essel. This is the Puzz Sprout podcast, and you can see all or listen to all of our hours. Buzzsprout.com. Just Google David Essel, and there you go. The website, talkdavid.com. Until next time, have a beautiful day.